and welcome to another quick product highlight. Today we're going to take a look at the K2 version of our end plate system. Um, we always had um, aspirations to develop two types. One was the K1 with a tapered system and the K2 uh, which has a locking lever system. The castle nut looks similar but it has notches on the tapered side to catch with this lever system inside. It's just added security and just to kind of show you similar profile as the K1 has a logo and uh, obviously that locking lever right here. Now keep in mind that this uh, lower receiver is loosely put together uh, just so I can uh, show you how that locking lever system works. This isn't by any stretch of the imagination an uh, insulation video. This is just a quick kind of product highlight of it. So let's say um, you uh, have your end plate in place and you're, you're turning the, the castle nut. At, at some point when you get close, it'll start kind of locking into place as you, you tighten, kind of goes into place. And my rule of thumb is just tighten it all the way down, uh, hand tight, and then maybe two additional clicks with, with your wrench. And that's it, two clicks. It's similar to the K1. The K1, we always said it's about 15 foot pounds, uh, usually about a quarter turn, meaning if it's hand tight, you, you go about a quarter turn. In this case, I think two clicks is all you need to have it really robust and tight. And to remove it, uh, you just push the lever up. It depresses because there's a spring inside. I'm trying to do this by hand, but yeah, then it just comes undone. And that's really it. I mean, it's just added security. It's kind of satisfying. So hand tight, and then obviously with the wrench two times, and I think you should be good to go. We have six colors that you can choose from. Black, gold, blue, red, uh, gray, as well as uh, tan or FDE. So if you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks.